What if humanity can control who somebody is, how they look, and what they will become like from conception on? There would be no major world epidemic that we would be susceptible to, no more mental or physical illnesses or disorders. Not only would there be no illnesses or disorders, but everybody would be able to look the way they wanted to. We, as a race and as individuals, could become our own idealization of perfection in all forms imaginable. While some of this might seem a world away, a new technology has been discovered and could have the potential to do all of this, CRISPRs. The technical definition of a CRISPR is an acronym for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeat. While CRISPR technology may have its potential advantages, misusing it with the ideals of the overman guiding our advancement would be an unethical use of the technology because it could possibly become the source for many problems, both physical and ethical, for humanity. CRISPR's positive side effects can include a cure for cancers and genetic defects. A study has shown that CRISPR has effectively cured a rare liver disorder in adult mice that is caused genetically by replacing incorrect genetic sequences. There is also research in the direction of making target antibiotics that can cure more infection-related diseases. The most pressing issue that I believe can arise from this technology is immortality and its relationship to our ideal of perfection. There is a concept called the theory of aging, and it states that DNA lesions interfere with transcription and replication, and this in turn causes loss of cell function and death. CRISPRs have the potential to fix this problem and immortalize humanity. One concept that can be directly applied to humans' attempt for immortality is the overman. This concept was theorized by Friedrich Nietzsche and is defined as, an overman has his own values, independent of others, which affects and dominates others' lives that may not have predetermined values but only herd instinct. I believe it is extremely hard not to take this stance when thinking about immortality and perfection. For proof of this, I turn to a book titled Denial of Death by Ernest Becker. He describes in this book our narcissist nature and how that nature is extremely prevalent in most of humanity, attempting to avoid the entire concept of death. Quote, his repression of the idea of his own death is made easy for him because he is fortified against it in his very narcissistic vitality, end quote. The combination of these two concepts can result in us pursuing our image of perfection using CRISPRs without taking into consideration possible dangerous and unethical reactions. Possible disastrous and unethical consequences of using CRISPR technology include overpopulation, genetic discrimination and designer babies, and the loss of will. There has been a dramatic increase in the human population on our planet, and the rate at which is increasing. This can eventually result in a depletion of Earth's resources. I believe the movie Gattaca provides a visual representation of the possibilities genetic discrimination can have on society and proves that we should never limit human potential. I believe that death is a driving factor for human motivation. Denial and death proves how we ignore death in our lives and how it is the underlying factor that causes us to act in certain ways and perform certain actions. Therefore, if immortality becomes a reality, will humanity lose the will to continue advancing and become placid and content with the way we are living? There are many different advantages to CRISPR technology. But if we use it unethically and recklessly, the possibility occurs that unethical and disastrous consequences may occur for humanity. While humanity's progression is a good ideal to always strive for, are the human ideals of perfection and immortality the best things for us as a species, as a people, and as individuals?